Okay, guys, so uh, we're today's 112 Wednesdays, and uh, what you'll probably see after this real quick intro is us breaking this, and then there's a little clip where you see nothing but sky, but that's kind of the way my day was going. Everything that could go wrong would go wrong, so, um, <clears throat> but we're going to get this done right. Um, this pin came out again. It just keeps pulling out. That's what my biggest problem is. But I'm taking everybody's advice. I'm putting in the bushing or O-rings. And uh, what I also did was I put a bolt in the back of this. So this should not be a problem. We're taking this to the skate park. Uh, either way. Either way. So we're going to be doing that sometime this week if the weather holds out. Uh, looks like it's going to rain tonight. So we're uh, fighting. I was trying to get a run in before the weather changed. Um... So you'll see a, a short rip of this, and then a little uh, JXRT time. I know it's not a 112, but it's close enough to me, man. Anything 116 to 112 is, is they're the same kind of guys to me. Sorry if my hand's in the way. I'm just trying to button this one up before. Um, so like you'll see in there, I kind of get mad at myself because I mean, most of these problems are me, man. I'm, let's, I'm just not taking that little extra time to, you know, I'm in, the, in such a hurry lately. I need to take a step back and slow down. So um, that's what I'm trying to say. So um, <clears throat> what I'm also going to do off camera, uh, you'll see, you, you'll see the sky, but I was running this, um, but this piece came off. Um, I think it was cracked last time I didn't replace it so I'll get that swapped out off camera and we'll get these on the skate park um, next time you see it so we'll definitely have some skate park footage for uh, next week if not earlier I might run a I might do a separate video um, but also while I'm at it I'm not sure you guys remembered this guy that's my 114 um, it's an EAT 14 uh, converted to Truggy and the dog bones um, it's another one of them dog bone eaters so um, one of the other guys had mentioned it and I was thinking about it myself we're gonna take some of the front CBDs and put them in the back and do that off screen and we're gonna have a good bash session with these three cars man we're gonna get get to it so you're gonna watch some quick footage um, of my day of <laughs> me playing outside between raindrops and and um, working on things and whatnot and getting some stuff buttoned up starting to clean up for the season um, and also um, if you haven't yet we started a new run to 100 with TTO2 so if you got a TTO2 and you want to join in we're just running with, you know it's just bragging rights we're just you know as a group we're going and we're all going to try and get our cars to 100 miles an hour after the poor boys competition you know we all kind of felt like well we if we had a little more time we had a little, little different setup wasn't rushed as much um we we, we could have got there and we're gonna so mike rcrx and I, myself and joe joe versus rc and uh test driver uh, so far and scale works he's in it as well so we got a bunch of guys in it um should be a good time um anyways i hope you guys enjoy the footage um, and, uh, I'll see you when I see you. Peace. All right, guys. It's been a while since I've used this headgear, so hopefully I'm actually going to film something. We'll see, right? Uh, so we got in this today. Well, let's, let's open it up so you can see. Hopefully I'm viewing. We got our, uh, WL124010 and I feel like taking it on the track today. It's a beautiful day. It's got 3S on it. Probably way too much power. Using the uh, Hyboxin uh, I've got the dog bones hopefully figured out guys. Cross your fingers. This will be the test because if it can handle the track we're all set. Oh yeah. 
Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Now I got a new servo. This one's making all kinds of noise. So, but I don't care. It's a bash. As long as it functions. Pretty cool. Uh, you know. <laughs> What do you think, guys? This is just ridiculous with this thing. This is a new... All right. I've had some bad luck lately with RCs, guys. I don't know if you've noticed, but stuff just keeps breaking on me. And uh, it's probably me, because I'm looking at things and I'm not doing diligent, man. I'm not taking the extra minute. Anyways, that's that. <sighs> I'll be, get her out and we'll get another run. <laughs> so 112 Wednesday, you know, <laughs> I wanted to run it. Anyways, all right. I'm gonna at least get the one old trusty running. This is our stock. One two four zero zero eight. So it's a little run footage. Hopefully we fare a little better than we did with the one two four zero zero one zero. I'm not sure how charged his battery is. Um, I put this in the car quite a while ago, so I'm not promising nothing, guys. <laughs> this could be a short run too. Alright guys, so I know this is in the 112, but I think it's too cool not to run on a day like today. So is what it is. It's fully charged from once last it was here. Not sure where my uh, body clips are though. Or maybe I'll run it without the body on it. Hopefully, I got this footage because the uh, last two cars I ran. I ended up not being able to see the actual video, so hopefully I do better this time. Oh. It's like a mini beetle. Speed demon. Speed demon. I think this will do well on the track. Brushless setup in it. But heck yeah. It just feels nice. I really hope this is coming out. Not a lot of power. I'm only like half throttle on it, pretty much steady on. But that's what I look for. Did I already lose a pin? Yep, lost the dog bone. See that? Oh, it's right there. Man. Tough little car too. Should be easy to get fixed. Hopefully you guys are dig 
digging. And yeah, I know this isn't a 112 for, for 112 Wednesdays, but you got my meaning from the beginning. This is all the smaller cars. I'm going to once in a while have a 16 or a 14 on it here and there. Because they're all the same class to me. Until you get under 16, then it's 18s and it's, it's a different world. But this thing's running really good. I want to thank Mike at RCRX for uh, working his deal out with me, man. This thing's awesome. So you got two of them. He sent me one. I'm kind of glad I don't have the body on it. I just don't want to break it right now. I'll let Lauren run it the first time we run with the body. So it's kind of the way it works. I'm missing the clips for a reason. So that must have been the reason, guys. But, uh, yeah. The weather's breaking. Weather's breaking. <laughs> Just going in circles. <laughs> but it's fun. That's how I lose dog bones. Those front crashes are tough on them. That means I'm not a good driver. Smashing it too much. <laughs> so cool. It's a good rig, man. I'm really enjoying this. Really am. A little zen. Oh. I dig it though. So like and subscribe guys. Hopefully you dig. See you when I see ya. Whoo! There goes another dog bone, probably. Was it? Yep. But I'd much rather dog bones pop off than, uh, or, uh, you know what I mean, steering rods. Where did it go, though? Where did it go? Anyways, like and subscribe, guys. I'll find my dog bone. <laughs> We'll get ripping again. Next time Lauren will drive. I'll see you when I see you. Peace. I found it. <laughs> Back and running. That's a good win. Win, win, win. When you don't lose the parts, it's always a win. So, <laughs> I had to let you know. Crisis averted. The world is a better place. Well, hopefully I'll get some bench time and get those WLs running again. Seems to be the bane of my existence some days. Dog bones. But that's part of the fun, isn't it, guys? I do like the steering in this. It's much more like a TTO2 or one like that. So, Anyways, it's a cool, cool rig. Thanks again, Mike. It's pretty awesome. See you when I see you. Peace.